got a paper three question on organic reactions. So if I just click through the part, so we've got A and B, and then if you want to pause the video each time and try, and then play on when you're ready for the answer. So part A starts with this, moves on to that, and part A finishes with that. And then part B is that. So first part of A, systematic name for compound A. So we've got essentially an aldehyde group here and an OH group here. So this is an aldehyde with a hydroxy group, one we're going to call this. So carbon number one is this one here with the functional group on. So that makes the OH carbon carbon number three. And so this is called 3-hydroxybutanol. What type of reaction have we got? Well, we've got two reactants becoming one product. So that's an addition reaction. Next part of three, we've got to come up with the equilibrium for step one and come up with the conjugate acid base pairs. So I'm starting with the obvious thing here. The OH minus ion is obviously a base. So I'm going to call that B1. So that means this aldehyde must be acting as an acid. So I'm going to call that A2. So the two is because it belongs to a different pair. So we'll go back to the OH minus ion. That's going to accept a proton from the aldehyde. So that's going to become water. So that's the conjugate acid of the OH minus, so that's A1. The aldehyde is going to become that, so that is B2. And just remember with conjugate acid base pairs you must have an A and a B on each side and you must have a 1 and a 2 on each side. So the equation for step 2, I'm going to bring the overall equation there at the bottom because basically it's a bit like sort of when you do mechanisms for rate determinant step. I'm going to use this equation for step one. I'm going to use the overall equation to sort of basically find out what's missing, what needs to cancel, that sort of thing. So straight away we can see we need two lots of the aldehyde. We've only got one in step one. So our first reactant is going to be another mole of ethanol. We've got water as a product of step one, but it's not in the overall equation, so we need to cancel that out. So we need a water as a um, reactant of step two. And likewise for the CH3CO minus ion. So if we move on to the products now of step two, we've got an OH minus ion here as a reactant of step one. It's not in the overall, so we need to cancel it. So we'll make it a product of step two. And finally, we haven't made our compound A yet. So we need that as well. So for part four, we've just got to do a similar thing, but use propanone instead of ethanol. So I'm drawing reaction 6.1 back and sort of in my head, I'm thinking, right, what's happened here? I've got an OH group formed by that O on that um, aldehyde and that H on that one. So that's formed my OH group and I've just joined everything together. So all I need to do now is do the same but with propanone, but I want to draw it so it looks like this. So you just get that and obviously that's your product. So for the final one, we've got to explain the role of electrophile and bring in an example of an aliphatic and an aromatic one. So obviously there's a bit of choice here. So we'll start with the definition for an electrophile, electron pair acceptor. And then for my aliphatic example, I've just gone for the uh, reaction between ethene and HBr, hydrogen bromide. So I've just given the overall equation. Obviously the name of the mechanism is electrophilic addition, the usual stuff there. And then just saying that that's the um, electrophile that's accepting the pair of electrons from the carbon-carbon double bond. The aromatic example I've gone for is the um, reaction of benzene with nitric acid. Again, overall equation, the conditions for this reaction and its electrophilic substitution. The usual stuff, 
and then just showing that that's the electrophile, the NO2 plus ion, the nitronium ion. Obviously you've got a few options here. You could have gone for any alkene with um, hydrogen halide or halogen. And obviously for the aromatic example, you've got a few options as well. You could have gone for so sort of benzene with uh, halogen, or you could have gone for the acylation reaction or the alkylation reaction.